Well, good morning, ladies and gents. Today I'm in sunny Suffolk outside Church Barn. It's on Long Green, right on the edge of Long Green, and it is a superb setting. I'm just keeping quiet because you can't actually hear anything out here. It's wonderful. So we'll have a look around the outside first of all. And we've got a range of barns at the side. These make really good storage. Uh, could be converted, of course, to the wonderful home office. So you can see the decent depth as well. Then you've got two timber store sheds. And this big circular area wrapping around the flint-walled bed. And that's really the front of the barn that we're looking at now. The great thing here is you've got a real flexibility and changes between the sort of natural area of the garden. Another good sized shed there. If you're looking for ponies, could be handy as a stable. And you've got moat. There you can see the deep moat there. So plenty of space for children to play. And you've also got very pretty formal areas of garden. Obviously this time of year, we're in December, it's not looking at its uh, prettiest because everything's gone over that little bit. So we'll go across here first of all. So we've got this field area at the back, children's swings. And we're back into the first section of the garden again. We've got lots of trees. Now I'm going to take you around the whole area. But if you're looking for property that's got space, has got land, is nice and quiet, tucked away from things, but is also very accessible, then this really is perfect. If you've got a uh, disc rail station, it's only oh, five miles away, and that takes you directly into London Liverpool Street, 90 minute journey from the rail station. So if you're looking at commuting, perfect. So this is the other part of the, the moat. And the ground on the other side is owned by this property, but it is common land. Um, but it does give you the protection so you can use it. And uh, just rather nice to have it. The rest of the garden, of course, is all private. No public access on the rest of it. So we're into this area here, which is all set out with these box stage planters fruit cages and it's quite a sun trap area here and we've created a little parterre and you can pick yourself I show the sun is streaming down today pick yourself on a sunny day in the summer sitting here enjoying your view across the garden beneath all the decking or well, hopefully above the decking, actually, beneath the pergola is what I should have said. And then we have this area of garden, which is um, has sort of your cottage garden feel to it. And then a second area as well. I was thinking sort of slightly Italian style about it. The water feature running down the centre, the limestone patio, these flower borders either side, and culminating with a summer house and pond at the end. So that's the exterior. What we'll now do is pop inside. So we're back here at the front door. We'll step inside. And straight away we're into living room. Living room is a lovely high ceiling on there. Got about nine feet. Fireplace gives you the focal point. And just so you can see it from this side as well. 
It's got a lovely feel about it. It's a good bright room as well. Now you think this might be a cupboard, but it's not. We have a little wash area. It'd be good if I could find the light. There we go. So you've got a basin there. Very handy little spot. And then to the other side. Good deep storage area. This house is certainly not short of storage space. Okay, let's carry on with the travel. A lovely pallet floor. We've got a sort of study area on the hallway, because the hallway is very wide. Dining room. Lovely timber work on display, and again, the pavement floor. And you've got views out across the common, to the front, and you've got these lovely inner windows with the lead work looking back into the sitting room. Secondary door, and then we're into the single story part of the barn. And I'm going to the kitchen first. Quite a contrast, because it's very modern, contemporary style of kitchen. Big island worktop there. And from the kitchen, it's got such a good flow, this property. We've got this room, which has got this vaulted ceiling. The fireplace with wood burner inset. And then you've got these doors leading out into the garden. They did have plans to change the configuration here to perhaps put bifolds all the way across, which would be a really lovely feature. And then the other side of it, we've got this room, snug, family room, TV room, whatever you want it to be. But you can see how it all wraps around. So then we're going a little bit further along, where we've got here the uh, cloakroom. And then we've got Utility area with good sized shower. Very handy, it's right beside the back door. So if you've got a load of muck on you, you can just go and clean yourself down there without having to traipse through the whole of the house. So these are the ground floor bedrooms. Quite a generous single room. Good views out onto the common from that window. And then down there, you can't see it so well because the sun's bleeding through, but you look down uh, across the moat. Second ground floor bedroom, very similar size. Both of these bedrooms have uh, wash basins in as well. And then this is the third ground floor bedroom which has a bedroom here, or bed here. Views out to the front onto the common. And with this room, you've also got the added benefit of dressing area to this side and to this side, shower. Could add a loo in there, make it a full on suite if you preferred. So that's all the ground floor accommodation. And what we'll do is now pop upstairs, because it's got a lovely new staircase. Look at this oak twisted staircase. And a nice view down into the living room from here as well. And up the top, we've got two further bedrooms and a bathroom. This one, three steps down. And this is a quite a big palatial double room. nice high vaulted ceiling again all adds to the sense of space 
Bathroom is in between the two bedrooms. Shower over the top of the bath as well. And then the final room is this one. Look at that. Elegance. Absolute elegance there. You just pick yourself sitting in the bath with a flake. It's all been done very carefully around this side. You have your loo and basin. Just pop the lights on so you can see a bit more. There we go. So this room is en suite. So that's all the property. What I'd say is if you want a view, details will be coming up next. And don't hang around um, because it's got what a lot of people are after.